Hey guys, welcome back to another video. No match video this weekend, unfortunately, but I was able to do a two-day training class with the one and only JJ Rakaza, the champ. Uh, what an awesome class. I want to say thank you to CGGR, an awesome gun club that puts on incredible uh, USPSA matches. I think they ran eight stages while we were there on Saturday doing our training, and it looked like to be a good match. A bunch of my buddies up there shoot it, and it's near Asheboro, North Carolina, so if you're looking for a killer place to shoot USPSA up that way, please check them out. They were very accommodating, and thank you to Kyle, my buddy Kyle out there. Uh, for putting it on, being the host, and getting me the invite. Because these things are hard to get a hold of. Um, and a special thanks to JJ for being an awesome, awesome instructor. He's a very high energy, um, fun, um, just dropping knowledge bombs constantly uh, kind of instructor. And um, he gets a lot accomplished in a short amount of time. Are you ready? Can I have a reshoot? Yeah, bye. Oh, nice job. Clear it up, make it safe. 708. They got Alpha Charlie, Alpha Mike. I'm kidding. No, it's two. Shit. <laughs> two Alpha, two Alpha, so only one Charlie? No, 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 that's a double <laughs> shit. <laughs> Can I get an overload? Hey, though? hey. Well, oh. the range master. Help. <laughs> Pull that target. Hey. He said you went too, too slow, <laughs> man. Oh, I saved it too soon for reshoot. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get this one on uh, on the timer. All right. Stand by. Alright, how about 621 for Charlie there. You could have done this. Same exact thing. Boom, 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 boom. Just pick this feet up, but leave it. Don't take a step forward. Right. Leave it like this. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, and then take a step forward. Does that make sense? I will include some clips that'll give you guys an idea of the type of training environment. What I'm not going to do is put it all out there because uh, it's his livelihood and that wouldn't be right. So, one of the things I wanted to do for this video was to give you guys kind of an idea of what I think you need to have before you go to one of his classes in order to get the most out of it. I feel like you need to have some USPSA experience. You need to be passionate about shooting. You need to be eager to learn. You need to have an open mind and um, you need to be able to hit a target. You need to be that the fundamentals part needs to be gone because he's he's teaching you concepts that all that needs to be in your wheelhouse to to learn all the other things that he's going to bring to you. Remember, on your second foot, you you plan that right. Well, I'm I'm trying to open up a little bit to get my body to move that way. Okay, sounds good. That works. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, all good. I'd recommend having a regular dry fire regimen going into his class so that you can really get good feedback on some of the changes he's going to have you making your game. One of the things that he does that's quite interesting is he doesn't try to give you a one size fits all. Yeah, bye. Oh, 
Alright. What did we get? Remember when I told you before he even shot it, it would affect his shot because you're so super explosive on that particular target, right? Five six. Low delta. It was low, two dot delta. <laughs> but he literally what he did was remember I told you guys this. I can't change the way you move right away because of your coordination or previous biases or filters, right? But if I see your technique is this, I might want to. That's why I kept asking you, maybe second shot because it will not slow down, Rob. So in the two days that you train with JJ, you basically start the day on the first day with pretty much what I've seen across the board with most instructors, and that is accuracy, uh, making sure that that he can see that you can hit a target because without that it's kind of hard to evaluate all the other things transitions improving transition trans transitions knowing what to look for so you can make the improvements on your own when you lead the class one thing i will say about all the different classes that i've taken is you don't necessarily come out the other end of the weekend better but what you come out of the weekend with is a processes to make yourself better if you pay attention take notes uh he does his syllabus sort of on the fly as he's writing them down um as he's teaching and you can take pictures of it you can take video of it and all that sort of thing and then you can kind of go off to the side and make your own notes and i really recommend that i have a list at least a dozen things that i can work on now to make my game better Hey, here. Hang out there. You got the speed taper. Tape it up. <laughs> Would you drop step out of there if yeah, you called if it? I was, if I was going to the popper, most yeah. likely, yes. Yeah. yeah, it'll be this. It would be a push off on that particular. One of the things he works on with transitions is teaching you how your eyes should work definitely based on the type of target that you're going to engage he has a couple different target designations if it's this type of target do this if it's this type of target do that and it's a really 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 awesome concept 13 is your total time with the penalties i've never looked at it like that so really i could have taken a little more time to I've, so every, average guys look at it this way every five points down meaning five charlies or basically give or take two charlies on minor load is equal to a second if you look at it that way you start thinking otherwise <laughs> yeah start approaching targets differently now all of a sudden attack target of 70 i'm like ah maybe that's not an attack target anymore <laughs> all is good it is not because <laughs> oh, a mic oh, oh. if you have a mic it's immediately plus three stacks that's 15 points yeah. right no shoot oh that's a badass dog Gosh, dang. <laughs> he set up a very creative, very simple but creative stage that allowed us to really evaluate a lot in one little setting. And it was nice for him to take the time after you ran the stage to just sort of break down some of the things that mostly were low-hanging fruit, but even if you did it really good, there was always something that he could put in your head to make you think about how could I make this better? Stand by. You had two alpha Much better. Heck yeah, that was nice. 2038 with that bobble in the beginning. One of the things I liked about training with JJ was the fact that he had a story for everything. In other words, through his long career shooting, uh, he basically, something would happen in his life that would cause him an effect on something and he would learn from it. And so he would tell those brief little stories and it would give you some context to the way that he came up with this sort of idea of training technique. You know, this, that, the other thing, what have you. And it was really interesting because that, that lets you kind of understand where he's coming from. And, and I found a lot of really good value in that. Yeah. I want you to I could have gained a step. 100%. Yeah. Let's, go, let's do that real quick. Step. Don't, don't tape it yet. Let me just do it one more time for you. Just walk it through real quick. Then we just want to see your footwork. Right. So, bam, 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 bam. Nope. See, see how you want to put that foot right away? Leave that foot back on that step. 
Yeah. Leave it back, leave it back. Yeah, transition and leave it back. Lean on this foot. There it is. Keep leaning, don't stop. And this is, you're just gonna naturally wanna catch yourself. So, so you want me to drag the foot? Yes. Try to do that. Yep, there it is. That's what I want you to do. Right, again, hold, uh, do, do it right now. Okay. You're at 621. Ready. I want you to drag that foot, basically. That's gonna be the stimulus you're going off of. Don't shoot any faster, shoot good points also. You drop two, three, four, five Charlies this, uh, that time. Just shoot good points. I may have enough ammo, I'm not sure. I have to major if you want. So I don't wanna go on and on forever. All in all, it was an awesome class. I got to hang out with my buddy Zach that I uh, got into squad with down at Nationals. I met him for the first time at Nationals. He showed up. My friend Ron out there that uh, I actually um, compete with at Spartanburg and maybe a couple other places. And it was just a great group of guys, uh, all different skill sets. Everybody took a lot away. And we just had really the time of our lives for two days. Uh, in that environment with, uh, you know, an excellent venue, awesome instructor, great people, and it didn't hurt that we had perfect weather. <laughs>